menu. Very nice. Let you run long way. Yeah, sorry I'm late. That's okay. You just sat down. It is the busiest time of the semester. <laughs> Tell me about it. Scheduling this search committee meeting has been a nightmare. Comes with the territory. So I've learned. But I'm glad most of us were able to clear our calendars on such short notice. Yeah, why the hurry? The chemistry department wants our recommendation by tomorrow morning. I warned you, Marcus. Hiring faculty for joint appointments can be difficult. So we need to decide tonight. Yes, and it's either Dr. Alec Burton or Dr. Tamaria Powell. Here are some forms from faculty that attended the interview meeting. And here are forms from students that attended the separate interview meeting. Are you guys ready to order? Yes. I know what I want. Good response from faculty and students. Interestingly, both were very impressed with each candidate's research. Their comments mirror ours. And it looks like everyone thought that Dr. Powell and Dr. Burton would be good teachers. If my figures are correct, based on the three questions assessing teaching, research, and service, there's very little difference. They both received a 4.5 on service and research. I got the same thing. But for the question assessing teaching, Dr. Burton received a 4.1, while Dr. Powell a 4.0. Did you round those figures? I did. Uh, actual scores are 4.05 for Burton and 4.03 for Powell. Essentially the same score. Yes, but when we get to the fourth question, where we ask for an overall rating, there is a difference. The average for Dr. Burton is 4.5, but only 4.2 for Dr. Powell. I would have expected more consistency between the three assessment questions and the overall score. It just shows that our faculty and students felt that Dr. Burton simply had the intangibles. Is there anything in the comments? Here's a couple. Both were good, but I prefer Dr. Burton. I thought he was very professional. Tamaria Powell's a little low-key. Seems very knowledgeable, but not as polished as Dr. Burton. She's capable, but Burton seems like a better fit. Most of the comments convey a similar opinion. Oh, wait a minute. I have some that say the opposite. A student says Dr. Tamaria Powell is very inspiring. We should hire her. He did say most of the comments, not all. It's actually more divided. I've separated them, and it seems that there is a clear pattern of distribution. And what pattern is that? By gender. Male respondents preferred Dr. Burton. Female respondents preferred Dr. Powell. How did you do that? The response forms are anonymous. We only have three female faculty in the department, and I recognize their handwriting. As for the grad students, most of them signed the forms. Here, Allison Smith says, I would enjoy having Dr. Tamaria Powell as my advisor. And I know for a fact our minority students prefer Powell. Both of them, Cheryl and Monique, have spoke to me how much they like her. So, the guys like the guys and the gals like the gals. Gals? Really? <laughs> While the gender breakdown is interesting, there's a numerical difference that we simply can't ignore. I think we're observing unconscious bias here. If we're to achieve gender, racial, and ethnic representation in our faculty and among our student body that we targeted in our strategic plan, then we need to address the negative influence of bias. I, I hear what you're saying, but I really don't think the expressed preferences are the result of gender or racial bias. Absolutely. I think it's perfectly natural for our faculty and students to feel more comfortable with one candidate over the other. To be honest, I really do not see the influence of race or gender bias, conscious or unconscious, as being an issue in our department or on campus. You were saying? 